dovetail on what Dave said earlier, um, I thought you guys played a great game going toe to toe with this BC team. So I was wondering if you could just comment on that. Yeah, I mean, I think that one of one of the questions you get asked, obviously, when they're ranked where they are and the success they've had, I mean, you get, hey, how are you going to do it? And you know, we tried to deflect that stuff and just tried to focus in on what we needed to do to be successful. And um, you know, I think you can beat yourself before you even drop the puck if you think think that way, right? So we uh, got to, uh, you know, you got to believe that you're going to be able to do the job and get out there and compete. If you don't, you're uh, not going to be successful or even have a chance to be successful. So just, uh, you know, having belief in what we're doing and how we need to do things. And, you know, I think, again, our guys went out and did what they needed to do. They had a chance to win, and tonight they didn't go in for us. Uh, thank you, Coach. Uh, John Powers, Boston Globe. Uh, this is your program's first trip here, clearly. The BC upperclassmen won this thing two years ago. How much in in certain minutes does experience come in? They get a shorthander. You are one second late on a line change. They get a goal. How, how are those little things make a difference? Yeah, I think when you've been there before. I mean, I've talked to a few coaches that have been in the tournament before, and how it differs from you know the first year to the second year to the you know whatever it is the fifteenth year. I mean, it's just there's a little bit more sense of you know knowing how things are going to work, and it's not always. I, don't, I think. Truthfully, I don't know how much of it is on the ice. I mean, all these guys have been in big games somewhere along their careers. I think it's just ha managing the, you know, the, the format of, of getting here, the things you need to be doing, and, and just kind of not letting that stuff um, play into it. I mean, it's still, like we told our guys on Sunday when we found out, I mean, we knew we were playing Boston College, but it's, you know, the ice sheet's the same size, and, you know, you kind of hear it all the time. Everyone puts their skates on the same way, but it's about, you know, going out and executing your game plan and not getting distracted by all the other stuff. So, you know, again, it's just, uh, you know, experience, I think, it just, you know, being here and, and knowing what to spe expect when you get here. There's a lot of unknowns just from a logistics standpoint, let alone, you know, or just even getting to the rink type of stuff, you know. So, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, hopefully we get the opportunity again next year. And, um, you know, I think it'll, it will pay off for us getting to where we need to go, and we can put that much more into our performance. Uh, Jim, first. Uh, Coach, can you talk about the play of your goaltender tonight, particularly in the second period when it was one nothing? I think he made a couple of big pad saves. Yeah, Scotty was good all night, you know, and he's, uh, for most of the season, he's been like that, where he's, you know, he stops all the ones he's supposed to <coughs> and stops a couple that he's not supposed to, and that's kind of how we describe his, it's his job description, you know, when you're the goalie. So, um, you know, that was a big save. I think even with after we scored, we went down and there was the, the timeout, two minutes left, and we're sitting here thinking, hey, let's ride this, let's, you know, usually when there's a goal, there's more to follow, whether it, you know, hopefully it's for you. But, um, and then we got hemmed in our end there for, you know, probably about a minute. And, uh, you know, the puck took a funny bounce there in front. And I don't know who it was for them, but left them all alone. And he made a big save there. And, um, you know, but he's a, he's a quality goaltender. I think the big thing, you don't see him, you know, in this type of setting, you don't see him getting panicked, you know. And that's one thing we like in our goaltender is that he's, you know, there's a subtle ease to him when he's making big saves. He's not, you know, uh, it doesn't, he doesn't cause panic on the other five guys on the ice. So it's a nice quality that he has, and uh, he obviously did his job tonight and gave us a chance to win. Coach Dave Hendrickson, um, you mentioned yesterday that after the selection, Fairbanks was crazy, the school was, went crazy. How is it that you went and got your players to kind of channel that and, and focus on the task at hand without having their emotions out of control today? Yeah, I think, well, probably one of the best things that happened in, in, in a good way, I mean this, is that we were able to get down here. You know, we left uh, Tuesday afternoon, so we found out Sunday. Guys are in school Monday, and uh, Tuesday we took off to get down here. And, and down here, we're just dealing with all the questions on how we got here. And it wasn't about, you know, the excitement and, and, and kind of feeling good about what we're doing. I mean, you know, when we left, the, the mission was simple. We're going to come down here and prepare and, and uh, just kind of, keep our focus where it needs to be. So I mean, it, it, it just a, it was a one conversation thing. We got good leadership in our locker room and um, you know, our guys kind of, again, they weren't, they, they weren't coming down here just for the party. It was to come down here and, and be successful and move on in this tournament. And like, like uh, Kevin had said, you know, you get a second, you don't get a second chance very often and uh, let's make the best of it. And in order to do that, we had to focus everything we had on just preparing. So. Um, yeah, but I think coming down here early was a big, big help for us to focus that way. Coach, talk about the play of Scott Enders. I mean, he had at least seven good four checks in the first two periods. So, what do you think was just working in his favor tonight? 
Well, I mean, he's a he's a young kid that you know is developing his game. He, I think over the playoffs, one thing I've seen from him, he's just started to compete. Um, you know, he was getting involved, whether he was taking a hit or getting hit, and um, you know, he's that's one thing I've seen him elevate his game here in the playoffs for us. Even you know, in our CCHA playoffs with Western and Northern in this game, you know, and I, I love to see him get uh, get involved like that. You know, and he needs to do that if he tries to play on the perimeter. He's He's just, uh, I think, average, you know, and I think when he gets involved, whether it's giving hits, receiving hits, I mean, he's involved and he's in the game. So I was happy with his play over the last um, three or four weeks. Just just from that aspect, he's starting to, you know, take control of it and uh, starting to step up for us. So he had a, he was real happy with his play. Right here. Coach, I know you pride yourself on uh, keeping your team on an even keel, but I've got to ask you, did your heart skip a beat when Jens hit that crossbar? <laughs> yeah, no, not really. I don't know. I, just, I was hoping it would go in for those guys because they were working hard and they wanted it really bad, and it's the way it doesn't go, you know. You know, that's kind of the first thing I think of is, man, these guys are working hard and they're not getting rewarded. So, um, but, yeah, I mean, I just, you know, kind of good leadership with our team. They don't get too up and down, and even when they scored that short-handed goal, like, and, and our guys were talking, you know, we've talked about not being scored short-handed all year, and I don't know if, how, I, I don't know if that's happened. I haven't paid a whole lot of attention to it, but I mean, it was something we were kind of talking about. Maybe that's the, the jinx us, but um, even when that happened, you know, we, we wanted to get the first goal. We felt that that was very important, but the way they responded and stuck with the game plan and competed hard, and we didn't get on the board till late in the second period, so... Um, but uh, yeah, no, they just good, good emotional control with our team. I think it's just our leadership in our locker room. Any more questions for the coach? All right, Coach Dallas Ferguson, thanks for an outstanding game from your team. Thanks for being here. And uh, if you have any other questions for the, the folks from Alaska, you can talk to the uh, talk to Jamie in the back. Thanks. All right, appreciate it. Thank you.